3 given that this one is y. Find the value of dy over dx when x is equal to 2 and determine the approximate value for this one. Okay, so for this one, we have y is equal to 16 over x square which is equal to 16 x negative 2. So to differentiate, the power must be up. So negative 2 times 16, we get negative 32 x negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So here we get negative 32 over x power of 3. So when x is equal to 2, when x is equal to 2, dy over dx, so this one is dy over dx, is equal to negative 32 over 2 cube, which is equal to negative 32 over 8, which is equal to negative 4. So, approximate value of this one. So, we can see what happened is this one is 2.02. This one is 16 over x square where x is equal to 2. So, we can see that x is changing from 2 to 2.02. So, we can see that the value of x from 2 to 2.02. So, delta x is equal to, so this one 2.02 minus 2 which is equal to 0.02. So this one is delta x. So this one, the formula that you must remember when you do approximate value is delta y divided by delta x is equal to dy over dx. So this one you must remember. Okay, so now we have delta x. Okay, so you see here this one. So this one is value of y, right? And this one is the value of y after change. So after change, this one is the value of y. So here, so I just where to write. So y new, the new y after the change in x is equal to old y plus change in y, which is delta y. So from here we can find delta y. Delta y is equal to dy over dx times delta x. So we can just substitute here. So here, y old, so we know that y old when x is equal to 2. So we substitute the formula of y, y is equal to, y is equal to 16 over x square where x is equal to 2. This one is the old y plus the change in y is dy over dx. dy over dx is negative 4. And this one is delta x. Delta x is 0 0.02 times 0 0.02. So here, 16 divided by 4. This one is, you get negative 0 0.08. So 4 minus 0 0.08. So here we get 3.92. So this one, the value of y, the value of this one is equal to 3.92. So for if y is equal to this one, find the approximate percentage change. So this one is percentage change in x when there is 4% in y. So we see here, this one y is equal to x 5 over 4. So dy over dx is equal to, so this one power you bring forward, you get 5 over 4 x. So 5 over 4 minus 1. So here 5 over 4 x. So this one minus 1 is actually 5 over 4 minus 4 over 4. So we get 5 over 4 x to the power of 1 over 4. Okay, this one is the value of, or you can change it to 5 over 4 times this one is. So for root, uh, root of 4, this one is x. So 4%, so here we know that delta y is equal to 0 0.04 of y because this one is actually 4 over 100 of y because 4%, right? 4 over 100. So from this one, delta y is equal to 0 0.04. So our y is x 5 over 4. So here you can find delta x from the formula. So delta x is equal to delta y which is 0 0.04 x 5 over 4 divided by dy over dx. So divided by dy over dx is 5 over 4. So I just change in term of power back. So 0 0.04 divided by 5 over 4.
So here we get 0 0.032 and then we have x 5 over 4 minus 1 over 4. Here we get 0 0.032 x 4 over 4 which is equal to 0.032x. So, but the question 1, percentage change in x. So, percentage change is equal to dx over x times 100%. Change divided the original value times 100%. So, this one is 0.032x divided by x times 100%. So, this one can be cancelled out. So, this one times 100. So, we get 3.2%.